All right, so the deal is Abby leaves me alone all morning long until I get to come live and then she's all like, Mom, feed me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm doing the Ask Wit Wednesday on Thursday morning because I got home really late last night. So first question that we had for Ask Wit Wednesday is to explain owner financing. And owner financing in one sentence, maybe two. Owner financing, short and sweet though, is when you find a free and clear property, so a house that doesn't have anything owed on it, and the seller, the owner, agrees to finance you, the buyer. So the owner is financing the property to you. Instead of going to the bank and letting the bank finance you, the owner is financing you. That's owner financing. And it only happens on free and clear houses. Okay? Owner financing is when the owner finances you the purchase of their home. That's it. You can call it seller financing. The seller finances you on the purchase of this home. That's it. There's lots of different ways to get into it. There's lots of different ways to make money off of it. But basically, the whole thing is that the owner is financing the property so you don't have to go to the bank. What's cool about that is that the owner, not gonna pull your credit. And a lot of times, the owner doesn't want any money down. And I flippin' love owner finance deals. Why? Because if you don't have to put any money down and you don't have to have anybody pull your credit and you don't have to go to the bank and get approval from somebody in some ivory tower, how many can you buy before you run out of money? There's no money. You didn't put any money in it. How many can you buy before you go broke? Okay? If you want to have $50,000 or $100,000 and you want to go out and buy houses with that money, then once you spend that money, it's gone. Now you don't have any more money to spend. That's why owner financing is so amazing. Because you literally don't have to put any money into it to get started. You find somebody with free and clear piece of property, you say, hey, I want to buy this. They say, okay, great. You say, will you finance it for me? And they say, yes. End of story, done. That's how owner financing works. Okay? And yes, I go into... I mean, absolutely analyzing the fire out of owner financing in my program, but we're not doing that here. Owner financing is when the owner finances you the property. All right, our second question was, do I have any leads or websites on how to find REO and short sale deals? And no, I do not. Because REO, short sales, and the F word, foreclosure, Ugh. I can't stand them, all right? There's way too many deals out there for you to have to fool with all that paperwork and all that headache and all that approval and all that other crap. REOs and short sales and foreclosures make me want to bang my head against this wall behind me. It's not any fun. And my job is to put the fun back in real estate so that women know that they are going to be amazing and they're going to be rock stars at it. REO short sales and foreclosures make me want to, I mean, if that's all there was to life, I wouldn't be in real estate. <laughs> okay? Stay away <laughs> from REO short sales and foreclosures. It takes too much money. It takes too much effort. It takes too much time. It takes too much everything when you could go out and get 10 other deals done in the six months it takes somebody in some other state to decide whether or not you can have this property. I don't want you de de deciding my future like that. I don't even know you. All right? Get out of my business. I want to buy real estate. And I can do that without short sales, REOs, and foreclosures. That being said, I have a really cool website that looks like a DOS program. I mean, it's awful. It is not cute. It is not sexy. It is not anything like that, but it is really effective. And I'm going to post that in the comments as soon as I get off here. I'll also post it in the thread for Ask Wit Wednesday, where the lady asked me about REOs and short sales. 
Okay, same lady also asked about transactional funding, which to me means other people's money. Okay, transactional funding is if you want to do a transaction, so you want to buy a house, you want to flip it, and you want to resell it, but you don't want to use your money, so you need other people's money, OPM, then that is transactional funding. And she said, how do you get sources for transactional funding? And my answer is that it's everywhere around you. All of your friends have money to get started in real estate. Your family has money to get started in real estate. You don't need to sign up for somebody's list or somebody's course or somebody's something. You just need to open your flapper and start telling people that you buy real estate and they will say they have some money. Let's get started. That's how you find other people's money. You start talking and people start confessing that they have money. They don't want to do the work. They just want to put the money in. Fine. I'll do the work. You give me the money. So no, I don't have a website for that because I talk a lot. <laughs> and I just keep getting money the more I talk. <laughs> okay, last question was on lease options. Lease options are my third love in life, okay? Jason, my husband, owner financing, and then lease options. And owner financing and lease options, they trade places quite often. Sometimes I don't know if I like owner financing or if I like lease options better. But then... In the back of my mind, I know I like owner financing better because you can get better terms on it. You can get a better price on it. You can just do more stuff with owner financing. Okay, but lease options happens. When I said owner financing, owner financing is when you find a free and clear piece of property. No liens, no mortgages, nothing against it, right? Free and clear. Most of America, I don't know if most, a large chunk of America and Americans have a mortgage on a piece of property. And instead of cashing out that mortgage and you going and getting a loan, all you do is put a lease option on top of their mortgage. Okay? So what happens with lease options? I'm going to use an example. Yesterday I put a video up that said I made 5800 bucks unless you look at it um, over the lifespan and I made like $22,000. Just depends on how you're looking at the marketing, <laughs> okay? But yesterday, I actually got $5,800, and in a year or two, I'll end up making $22,000 or more on this deal. But what happened, I had some sellers, seller over here, they had rented this house for a year or two. They didn't want to be landlords. They just kind of happened into it. They had bought a new house over here because they had a baby, and they needed a bigger, better, badder, fancier house. Cool. Love it. Happens to a lot of people, right? Well, instead of selling the first house, they couldn't. So they just rented it. They had somebody they knew needed to rent. They rented it to them. It was fine until it wasn't fine. And even when it wasn't fine, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't what they wanted to do. So they've got this house with a mortgage on it. They've got their new house with a mortgage on it. And they don't want to be landlords. So they call me. Hi. And they say, hey, wait. We have house A over here. We just don't want it anymore, but there's a mortgage on it. I'm like, okay, fine, no problem. I go, I talk to these people, very nice people, not desperate, not a bad credit, not facing the F word, not typically motivated sellers, okay? They're not throwing real estate away for nothing, okay? This isn't a wholesale deal. This is a lease option deal. So I, I told him, I said, okay, fine, this is what we're going to do. I'll buy the house. I will put a lease option on your house. I will put a land contract on your house. I will put the paperwork together so that I'm in charge of your house. I will make the payments for it. I will put a tenant in it. I will do everything I can to try to sell this house for you. But the mortgage is staying in your name. I am not getting a new mortgage on this house. They said, fine. Will you make our payments for us? I said, yes, I will. So, they signed the paperwork, I put it on the market, I found somebody that wanted to buy this house, they wanted to pay my new person, my buyer, my tenant buyer, wants to pay me more than what I paid the seller. That's fine, that's how I make money. My tenant buyer is going to pay me more per month than what I'm paying my seller. 
That's fine. That's cool. I'm making some money. Nobody cares. My tenant buyer, well, my seller, I told them that I would take 10 years to buy this house, to cash out this house. My buyer has two years to cash out this house. That's fine. That's cool. They can rebuild their credit. They can establish a job history. They can do whatever they want to in those two years as long as they get a mortgage in those two years and they buy it. And people do it. Lots of people in America today don't have credit. They can't go buy a house. Whether they want to buy a primary house for themselves or whether they want to be an investor, they don't have the credit to do it. I help buyers who want to buy a house and have bad credit. That's my whole gig. That's the whole thing I do. I help buyers who want to have the American dream of owning their own home, but they don't look good on paper. Fine. I don't care. I'll give you two years to get your credit up. So this lady, my tenant buyer, she put $5,800 down that does not go towards the purchase price. It does not go towards her credit. It does not go towards anything. That's what she pays me to get into this deal that I've set up. I've created this beautiful little world. I've got this whole little system that she can get into and the price to get in is 5,800 bucks and she paid it. She was glad to pay it. She was happy to pay it. She wanted to pay it before somebody else could pay it and take her house. Okay. My sellers, I didn't give them any money. They didn't want any money. They didn't care about getting any money up front. All they wanted was for me to take over their payments and take over their headaches. This is a win, 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 okay? My sellers won, I took away their problem. I knew what their pain was, and I was the Tylenol, I was the Neosporin, I was the Band-Aid. I fixed their problem. I have a tenant buyer over here. Her pain is that she's got bad credit. She can't go buy this house. She can't get a loan right now. So again, I'm the Tylenol, I'm the Advil, I'm the Neosporin, I'm the Band-Aid. I fixed her problem. So they both win. It's a win-win. You know what? I make money. I don't have to clock in 40 hours a week, 60 hours a week. This deal took me about four hours to set up. From the first time the seller called to the last time I met the buyer and signed the paperwork. It took me like four hours. I'm going to make $22,000 off of four hours. What are you doing with your life? How many of those can you do every month before you need to quit your job? Before you can have retirement? Before you can afford health care? Before you can save up enough money to pay your kids college tuition? Real estate is as difficult and as hard as you make it. And I have a great way of breaking it down and woman to woman telling you how to get the job done so that it's a win, win, win. It's a win for your seller, it's a win for your buyer, and then it's a win for you. And that's what a lease option is. So if you wanna know more about lease options, you gotta get in the program, okay? I got a quick start that's starting tomorrow and it's gonna be amazing. If you need more about owner financing lease options, you need to know more about other people's money, you're working on a small little budget, your husband will only allow you to spend X amount, then I promise the quick start is in your allowance. Okay? I'm not gonna give you everything I know in the quick start. If you want everything I know, you need to sign up for my 12 week boot camp, my cash flow system. That's where I go through like 30 or 40 hours of education so that you know exactly what you're saying to the seller and when. So you know how to say it, you know how to quote it, you know how to do everything. And you are an owner financing lease option genius. If you need more handholding, then I have a six month program. You can sign up, you get six months with me. We talk every other week on the phone. Me and you, one-on-one. -on -one. You get everything in the Quick Start program and you get everything in the uh, Cash Flow program, in the six-month program. But on top of that, you get hand-holding with me. Not just emails, not just chatting in the group, not just motivation, not just anything, but actually me on the phone talking to you about your individual deals.
That's the six month package. So I got three different levels. The quick start, which starts tomorrow, and I'll put the link for that in the comment thread here too, but tomorrow starts the quick start, and it is four weeks of boom, 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 boom. This is what you need, woo! Foundation, okay? The 12 weeks, October, 12 weeks, it starts this week, okay? Saturday was the first day you could sign up. Saturday is the last day you can sign up to get in October's 12 week cash flow system. And it is an entire system. And that gets you into the private Facebook group. That gets you into unlimited open access emails. That gets you into all sorts of extra freebies. But if you still need more time, you need the six months hand holding with me, send me a message, send me a private message and let me know that you need the six months. Okay, and we'll get on the phone. Whether you want the cash flow system, the middle level, or the six months, we need to get on the phone. I need to talk to you. Okay, you can fill out the application on allaboutrei.com. If you just want the quick start, I'll put, I'll put the link in here. It starts tomorrow. You got to pay up today. It starts tomorrow. So, anyway, this video went really long, but I love Ask Wit Wednesday. So, send me your questions. Let me know what you're dealing with, and we will hammer through it. Usually on Wednesday, today is Thursday. My apologies. I made 5,800 bucks yesterday before 8 a.m. and I took the day off. I went to Chattanooga with my stepkids and my husband. We were tourists for the day. It was like a staycation. And one day, and I am re-energized and ready to go back into the world. <laughs> so y'all let me know if you have any other questions. I'm putting two links in here. Uh, one on foreclosure information. This is true, legit foreclosure information. And the other one is the um, quick start link. So you can go ahead and sign up and get started tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I hope everybody has a great day and I will talk to you soon. Oh, tomorrow is Friday and I have a special little weekend challenge that I'm going to post up in the group tomorrow. So be on the lookout for your weekend challenge. Bye, y'all. Happy investing.